so what exactly is plc so guys in this video we will be discussing about all the basics that you need to know when you are dealing with plc so guys my name is vasil pathan and this is patch like engineers so with that being said let's get started so basically plc stands for programmable logic controller and, and by definition it goes like this it is a digital computer that is used in control system engineering that is used in industrial automation for controlling actuators and sensors and and there are various other definitions that are given on the internet that you can see on the screen right now but according to me plc is like a heavy duty controller or moderate duty controller that is used in industries Uh, for performing electromechanical pure electrical operations uh, like drilling lathe machine grinding and all the stuff and uh, basically it is used for controlling uh, things like pumps motors fetching the data from the sensors it's like uh, basically a controller that is used for actuating and fetching the data from the sensors and uh, so the applications where you can see plc is in like uh, textile industries all those industries where heavy duty of operations are required and plc normally works on relay logic that is normally open normally closed and we will be looking that in the further on video let's move further guys so some of the reasons why plc is that important is because of its features that it provides uh, there are several kinds of controller boards out in the market uh, arduino board pnc boards um, ds dcs boards but uh, i would say the features that plc provides as a controller makes it stand out from other kinds of controllers some of the features that you can see in plc are uh, like it is easy to control and it is easy to program there are several other languages that you can program plc with but majority of the programmers of the plc uh, prefer ladder diagram we will look that in the future videos other than that plc also operates in excessive and uh, heavy atmospheric conditions like um, in nuclear industries like in petrochemical industries uh, where the controller has to withstand excessive vibrations and mechanical stresses so plc stands out from all other kinds of controllers and these are all some of the features and this is why i would say plc is like a major thing that an engineer should learn so let's talk about the plc hardware the plc hardware varies according to the brand that manufactures it uh, it varies according to the modules uh, the modules have some specifications and the specifications varies according to the requirement uh, according to the application that uh, we are using the plc for and according to uh, customer demand i would say some of the specifications of the plc hardware are the input output pins basically plc has input output ports or input output pins it can be 10 it can be 20 it can be according to the need of application or according to the requirement of the industry uh, other than that plc has relay, relay channels uh, relay channels are like i had said before uh, it's like a normally open normal close so there are like different variants of uh, four channel relay 12 channel relay um six channel relay it's based on like like i said it's based on the requirement of the industry other than that plc also has um i would say plc also operates on 24 volt 12 volt dc um 230 volt ac uh, 110 volt ac like it varies according to the it varies according to the supply also so some of these are some of the specifications of the plcs i would say all the specifications of the plc are the central processing system right here uh, this also varies according to the brand that you have seen you could have seen the other cpus of uh, siemens or schneider um, the display screen or i would say the keyboard screen also changes according to its manufacturer so these are some of the hardwares so let's discuss the plc working principle and we would be doing that with an example where we would be using a fan to control the temperature of an industry um, it would be just controlled using a plc the fan would be turning off and turning on according to the plc's on according to the program that we fed in the plc and we would be using a temperature sensor the temperature sensor will sense the temperature of the industry and it will fetch and the plc will fetch the data from the temperature sensor Uh, where the temperature sensor will send the signal of high temperature, and at that time PLC will fetch the data from the sensor, and it will just switch on the fan. It will just turn on the fan. It will just close the channel of the relay that is connected with the fan, and it will just switch off the fan. 
and at the temperature as the temperature goes down the PLC would detect that the temperature is going down now it's time to switch off the fan and open the relay circuit and it will be done from the temperature sensor this is like one of the basic example of PLC where you can actually understand the working principle of an PLC so some of the brands that manufacture and sell PLC are Siemens, Schneider, Allen Bradley, Hitachi, Honeywell, um, ABB etc. These are some of the brands that manufacture and sell PLC. So let's discuss about PLC software. Basically PLC software is used for programming the PLC that is programmable logic controller and if you haven't checked my PLC software video you can just click at the top right corner of you can just click at the top right corner of this video you can just download the software the software is free uh, go check that link and also all the details for the plc and also all the details for the plc videos and all those stuff in the description guys check the description so we'll be just talking about the plc software uh, there are various kinds of software that provides various kinds of function and uh, that provides various kind of functionalities and in order to program plc we use uh, various kind of programming languages uh, the majority of the industries prefer ladder diagram uh, that is a programming language but there are functional block diagram sequential text control and other kinds of programming languages that can be used to, in order to program plc uh, let's discuss let's discuss about ladder diagram ladder diagram is a plc ladder diagram is a language that is used to program plc uh, where it has ranges or branches uh, whatever you call it basically you have to place or you have to drag and drop bits like normally open normally close uh, examine if close examine if open bits and uh, that operates according to how you program your plc and this is how the plc operates according to its program so when we place the bits on the branches or the ranges uh, we place the inputs sides on the left hand side and we place the output sides on the right hand sides um, let's say the motors or the trigger pins or the trigger bits of the motors, lamps, um, pumps that we are going to control using PLC would be placed on the right hand side and the switch, toggle switch, uh, sensor pins would be placed on the left hand side. So this is how the PLC ladder diagram works. So guys those were all the basics that you need to know when you are dealing with PLC. And guys if you want your concepts and your topics on tech, on PLC, on IoT based systems comment down below and also I have also started with the career oriented videos by experts by various kind of specialists in their own field of expertise so guys if you haven't subscribed the channel subscribe the channel and uh, press that bell icon and if you haven't liked this video drop me a like do comment your topics that's it for me today guys see you next time